welcome again to DC Technet which is your own channel so do like share and subscribe to the channel it will not take say more than 2 seconds to click on the subscribe and the like button so let's see what we have today today we will be discussing on uh, active directory hierarchy or the structure of active directory this is the fundamental of active directory so let us understand the hierarchy of active directory how it is organized so active the say the structure of active directory is container based okay so there are two types of objects in active directory namely container objects and leaf objects for example ou organizational unit or your groups these are container objects and users printers your computers these are all leaf objects so the container object may contain other container objects and leaf objects and the leaf objects are at the end they don't contain any other objects so the structure or the hierarchy comprises of three main components or containers forest again is a container domain as a container and a domain tree so these are the three say major containers in the world of active directory so let's see them one by one so let's look at what a forest is an active directory forest is So active directory forest is the highest level of organization within active directory. So active directory forest is the collection of domains that shares a single schema, a single configuration partition and a single global catalog. So in our earlier videos we have seen what is schema, what is configuration partition and we have also seen what is a global catalog. So an active directory forest is a collection of domains that shares a single schema, a single configuration partition and a single global catalog. So it's somewhat like this. We have a domain over here named contoso.com and this is the first domain in this forest. So this domain is called as a forest root domain. So this forest will be identified by the name of the forest root domain so uh, this forest will be identified by contoso.com forest and in this forest there can be multiple domains so in this example we have say two more domains east.contoso.com and west.contoso.com and every domain uh, will have its own domain controllers we have also seen the concept of domain controller in our previous videos so this is all about an active directory forest this is the highest level of organization within active directory so let's move ahead now active directory domain so an active directory domain is a collection of objects which are a part of same active directory database so an object can be a user printer computer shared folder site link site link bridge anything so anything in active directory is an object and uh, the objects which share the same database is called as a domain it's very simple and uh, these domains collection of domains which shares schema which shares configuration partition and which shares a global catalog is called as a forest so here we have the domain contoso.com so as i told you there can be n number of domains in the contoso.com forest here we have two testing.contoso.com and dev.contoso.com 
contoso.com and definitely every domain will have its own domain controllers which hosts active directory database so i believe the concept of forest and domain are clear now so we need to say there's a note over here one thing to note and very important that is a forest is a security boundary for an administrator forest is a security boundary so objects in different forest will not be able to interact with each other until and unless administrators of each forest configure trust between the forests otherwise no there won't be an interaction and on the other hand active directory domains okay is a management boundary is not a security boundary it's a management boundary so the objects for a given domain are stored in a single active directory database and can be managed together so we have to remember one thing the forest is a security boundary and active directory domain is a management boundary and one more thing all the domains in the same forest by default trust each other you don't you don't have to configure a trust between the domains in the same forest by default they trust each other so this is just a note just to understand how ad is designed so let's move ahead let's look at the concept of tree now active directory tree so an active directory tree is a collection of domains within microsoft active directory network the term tree refers to the fact that each domain has exactly one parent domain leading to a hierarchical tree structure so it's somewhat like this so we have this contoso.com forest and we have a root domain contoso.com and in the same contoso.com forest we have two more domains dev.contoso.com and testing.contoso.com so dev.contoso.com is a parent domain for testing.contoso.com and contoso.com uh, sorry testing.contoso.com is the child for dev.contoso.com so in our uh, in one of the videos uh, we have seen uh, there are how many ways in which we can configure a windows server and one of the ways is as a domain controller for a parent domain and as a domain controller for a child domain so i will leave a link in the description so one more example so this is called as a tree now so let's take another example over here contoso.com is a forest and we have west.contoso.com and east.contoso.com so we have two parents and two child domains over here so west.contoso.com is a parent domain for east.contoso.com and contoso.com is a parent domain for west.contoso.com so this can be the one of the structures or another structure can be somewhat like this research.contoso.com it might have two say child domains testing and dev but you have to remember one thing there is only one parent domain for any child domain there cannot be two parents for a single child so i hope you have understood the basic concepts so let's summarize what we have uh, say seen today so we have seen the active directory structure or the hierarchy and we have understood the concept of domain sorry forest domain and domain tree so hope you have enjoyed today's session do like share and subscribe the channel and have a great day